This guide shows you what to do if your taskbar has gone missing in Windows 10. Now, first of all, it's a good idea just to check to make sure that your taskbar hasn't been hidden. To check this, just press the Windows key on your keyboard. The Windows key is usually located on the bottom row of keys on the keyboard on the left hand side, usually between either the CTRL key and the ALT key or the FN key and the ALT key. It's denoted by a Windows flag. So just push this button once now. If once you've pushed this key, the taskbar reappears and the start menu reappears, then it probably just means that your taskbar has been set to auto hide. So all you need to do with the start menu up on the screen is just type on your keyboard taskbar. And then after a while, under best match, taskbar settings, system settings should appear. Move your mouse over this and left click once. Then this screen should appear and make sure that automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode and automatically hide the taskbar in tablet mode are both switched off. If they're switched on like mine, then just click on the off position on both of them just to make sure that they are switched off. Then click on the cross in the top right hand corner of the screen and the taskbar is back. If you find that the taskbar is still missing, then the next thing to try is once again, hold down the Windows key. The Windows key is the key between the CTRL key and the ALT key, or the FN key and the ALT key on the bottom row of keys in the left-hand corner of your keyboard, denoted by the Windows flag. Hold this down now. Then tap the letter X, X for X-ray. Then this menu will appear. Let go of the Windows key. Then move your mouse over shut down and sign out and then move your mouse over restart. Not sign out, shut down or sleep. Move your mouse over restart. Then left click restart. Let the computer restart and hopefully once the computer's restarted, your taskbar should have reappeared. If once your computer has restarted, and your taskbar still isn't there, then unfortunately, there's obviously a more serious problem with your computer, and I would recommend taking your computer to a professional for a more thorough diagnosis of the problem. But let's hope this guide has helped, and thanks very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter, at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.